Hey class, Mr. Moyden here with a video on how to uh, calculate the mass of an object given uh, not its volume but its, uh, its dimensions. So the problem reads, a delicate object consisting of two congruent conjoined pyramids uh, is fallen into your possession and you wish to know its mass uh, or roughly how much it weighs but it is too delicate to actually physically weigh. Um, it appears to be made of glass which has a density of 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Oops, cubic centimeter. Approximately how many grams is the, max, uh, is the mass of the object? So recall uh, that density is a measure of how much stuff uh, fits into a space, uh, a fixed space usually. So uh, formally density is equal to mass, or the amount of matter, divided by the size of our space, which is usually volume, but can also be area. In this problem, it will be volume. We're given that the density is, uh, of the material here is 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. So we need to know the, uh, so we know this, basically. We want to know the mass, which means there must be a way to find the volume, right? So uh, the volume for a pyramid uh, is given by the formula one-third times the base area times the height. Now, this part right here will give you the volume of a prism. So if you have, for example, um, let's say a pentagon, and you extended the pentagon into the third dimension, and you had this sort of object, well, the volume of this prism would be the base area, which is the area of the pentagon, times the height or the depth, depending on your perspective, of the object. So if this is the base, and this is the height, then the volume is that. Well, the reason I mention that, a pyramid with the same base, just like a cone uh, and a uh, cylinder, a pyramid with the same base would have one-third of the volume. So one-third base area times height. So let's find the volume of, let's say, just one of these pyramids. So the base area, you'll notice, is a 5 by 5 rectangle, and a rectangle is also a rhombus, would therefore be a square. So our base area here is 1 third 5 times 5. That's this right here. Our height appears to be 12 centimeters for one of the pyramids. So let's see, a third of 12, because uh, order does not matter when you multiply. Uh, commutative property is 4. Uh, 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 25 is 100. All of my measurements, this is 5 centimeters, this is 5 centimeters, this is 12 centimeters, so I have 3 centimeters or centimeters cubed, you might say. So that's the volume of one of my pyramids, is 100 cubic centimeters. Uh, the other pyramid, of course, you'll notice is congruent, so the total volume, therefore, would just be, times 2, uh, 200 cubic centimeters. Now, you remember from class that I'm not a big fan of, of you know, using formulas all the time. Uh, if you think about it, this is the amount of stuff that we have. We have 200, oh, sorry, the, 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 the amount of space that we have. We have 200 cubic centimeters that is occupied by this delicate glass object. Well, each one of those cubic centimeters per cubic centimeter weighs, or has a mass, which on Earth is interchangeable, uh, has a mass of 2.5 grams. So for every one of these 200, you have two and a half grams of mass. So you simply multiply by two and a half grams per centimeters cubed, the density, and centimeters cubed, cancel centimeters cubed, 200 times two and a half would be 500 grams, or if you prefer, 0.5 kilograms, but that's probably the most straightforward answer. Now, if you are a fan of using formulas, if that's something that uh, you you know, take from, from your science class, then just to show you the procedure there, you could instead say that, okay, if density equals mass divided by volume, the density was given to us as two and a half, the mass we don't know, the volume we just found to be 200 as the total. Well, this would then show you that you simply have to multiply both sides by 200 in order to isolate the mass, and that still gives you 500 for the mass. So whether you use the formula, whether you use sort of a uh, a direct approach. Either way, you get the same answer. All right, hope this helps.